Hey artists, today we are going to draw a cityscape. A cityscape is a picture or drawing of a city. It is kind of like how a landscape is a drawing of the outdoors of land. A seascape is a drawing or painting of the ocean. So cityscapes are pieces of artwork that show um, buildings or a city. Your city today can be a real city. It could be St. Louis or a city that you've traveled to. It can be an imaginary city if you want. Um, this is an opportunity for you to be creative. We will be using complementary colors in the next video. So in this video, we're not going to be adding any colors. We're just going to be doing some black and white buildings. So you can start thinking about how you want to add color later. Are you going to add color into the buildings, into the sky, both? That part is up to you. Let's go ahead and draw some buildings. I'm going to start with my paper nice and tall today. It is up to you if you want yours nice and long. That's fine if you want the city to really go across your page. I want my city to have some layers, like some buildings are in the front, some are in the middle, and some are in the back. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and use some rectangles at the very bottom. Now these buildings can be houses, they can be office buildings, um, all different types are in a city. I like making some buildings taller than others. Um, I might draw a building behind this one. I'm gonna leave some room for a roof. So I'm gonna actually make it go like this. And I'll also make one going off the page. I'll do the same on this side as well. Now that I have my rectangles, I can start adding the details. I think this is the fun part. Think about what the roof looks like. Some buildings have a roof that goes up a little bit, then it's flat on top. It could be a triangle. Some buildings have a flat roof where it's just flat all the way across, so you can't really see it. Um, some could be more of a, a dome where it's curved. I think it looks good to give a variety. And you can also add details on your roofs, like straight lines some curved lines that will kind of look like shingles. Uh, you could add curved lines. It is totally up to you. I'll add some details on these other roofs here in a minute. Next, I'm going to make doors and windows. I encourage you to think about the different shapes doors can be. They're not always just rectangles. Some are curved at the top. Some have windows on them. Sometimes you have a double door where it's two doors next to each other, just like that. Is there a window above your door? What's beside the door? Are there plants outside? Are there windows next to the door? And then are there windows, balconies, anything else that is filling the rest of your building? Well, the, sorry, windows can also be different shapes and sizes. So I'll think about adding some that are squares. Some windows are semicircles. circles 
Um, sometimes windows are really, really big. They might really kind of fill a space. But maybe even see inside of this building, like is there a stairwell or what room is there? Windows can be rectangles. Adding more details will just make this more interesting at the end. I know I haven't filled in these buildings yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do some buildings behind these. And then I'll fast forward later and add the rest of my details. So I encourage you to think about different shapes. Like if I want to make a cathedral, I could make a rectangle like this and then another rectangle kind of going across. So this part might be a triangle while the rest of the roof is more of a straight line. And then again, I would add some doors, windows, all those cool details. Remember, some of these will go behind the buildings. Add some details on the roof. If you want to make something that looks a little bit more like a castle, you might want to make a tower like this. Um, this is called a turret, and so then it would have this, what I call a castle line, this line going up and down across the top. And then I'm going to make another castle line for the rest of my castle. If this was St. Louis, obviously this is not St. Louis with a castle, but if it was St. Louis, I could even in the very background add the arch. So what I have right now are some buildings in the front, some buildings in the middle, and then something in the back. I've left room at the top for the sky because we're gonna be coloring that later. So I didn't want my buildings to go all the way up my page. I'm going to be back in a moment and I'll have added more details so you can see what this will look like when you're done drawing. I'll be right back. Welcome back. I went ahead and finished drawing a bunch of windows. I added doors. I added bricks on the castle, the windows on the arch, and added more details for the different roofs. Now that I'm done with all my details, I'm going to stop and then wait to color until next time. I look forward to seeing you then.